Hey everyone, I'm back with another review of a Sonic uh, series that came out four years, four or five years after Sat AM uh, aired. And this series is very similar in story and plot to Sat AM, but it was also sort of a mixture of Sat AM and adventures. And the series I'm talking about is Sonic Underground. Now, I know a lot of fans don't like this series, and, and I can understand that. And I think the main reason fans don't like it is not because it's very similar to Sat AM in plot. Uh, and it's not the characters or anything like that. It's mostly the singing. It's mostly the singing because in the middle of the action, or in the middle of the show, or the episode, they, or towards the end, or towards the beginning, or whatever, like I said, in the middle, they break out into song for no reason. But let me kind of tell you something about the, the breaking into song uh, routines. Basically each song that they sing deals in a way with the plot of the story of the episode for, for that day. So that, that's the only positive way to look at it. But I know that's one of the main reasons nobody likes the series. Because not, like I said, not just because of the characters, but because of the fact that they break into song on it when they shouldn't. But, and basically, they, when they shouldn't, and basically they should end up saving it for like at the end of the show. Like, say, a chalk zone or something. Now, this DVD set, now this DVD here was uh, released by Sterling Entertainment, or Sterling Home Video, and Sterling is basically one of those um, one of those uh, DV, one of those home DVD uh, companies that releases it and it gets sold at like say supermarkets or even Dollar Trees and places like that. And it includes a, Ma a bonus Mario a Mario cartoon on here, or a bonus cartoon of another series. This one has Mario Brothers, and I'm pretty sure Mario Brothers is the one I have or well, the one I watched, had Underground on it. So I'm pretty sure it's back and forth. But this is not, but this is just one of those individual DVDs they brought out um, back in, uh, I think it was 2005 or 2000, yeah, about 2004, 2005. And it wouldn't be until like last year and beginning of this year or the beginning of well, last year and towards the end that they would bring out Sonic Underground officially through Shout Factory onto DVD. Now, like I said, this is only three episodes. The episodes on here are the pilot, Beginnings, uh, Hitchhog Home is Her Castle, and Mobile Doom, basically going back to the home where they were born. But for me, I was able to go on, uh, since I couldn't really afford the DVD set at the time, I went to a place called iOffer, sort of like eBay, and I bought from a fan his DVD copy of the, uh, of the series. Now these ain't bootlegged or anything, these are basically what he recorded off the television, and like me, takes VHS um, and records them to DVD when he has the opportunity, so that's what these are. And these are all the episodes, basically, right here, these two. Um, overall, like I said, the series, the plot line for the series is very similar to, to Sat AM. Uh, Robotnik has, has taken over Mobius and is basically roboticizing uh, in anybody that defies him. And his main goal is to roboticize, to capture and roboticize Sonic and his siblings, Sonya and Manic. Manic is a green hedgehog who plays the drum. And that's another thing that fans kind of hate about the series. Not just because of the singing, but because of the weapons that are used. I mean, in the series, uh, Sonic and his siblings have these medallions. Now, Sonic's medallion becomes a guitar. Uh, Sonya's becomes a keyboard. And Max becomes drums. Now, the twist to this, the, the twist to this whole situation about the weapons, the medallions becoming the instruments, is that they can only become instruments and even weapons, yeah, that's right, they're even used as weapons, if 
the siblings, Sonic, Sonia, and Manic, are in harmony together, together. In other words, if they are on the same page. That's the only way it would work. Now, another thing about the series, like I said earlier, it's a mixture of both, you know, sad am and adventures. Because it has, believe it or not, uh, it's got a, you know, it is darker and more serious in, at some points in the series, but it's also very funny. It's got some very funny points. And the comedy relief comes from the two henchmen of Robotniks, Sleet and Dingo. Now, Sleet and Dingo are basically underground answer to Scratch and Grounder from Adventures. And Robotnik is a little bit more funnier, too, in this episode, in this series as well. But like I said, there's a lot of similarities. You know, he's a little funnier, but he's also just as serious and menacing as in Sat AM, if not less than that. But overall, you know, Sonic Underground, you know, despite what you may think of it and say about it, you know, it is a good series. I mean, I know that a lot of fans are upset that only 40 episodes were aired and that we never got what, you know, never got to the point of what the series was really about. You know, that's, the, you know, Sonic and his siblings finding the mother, Queen Alina, and reuniting as the Council of Four and taking down Robotnik and reclaiming the kingdom. That never happened. But I know there's a lot of fans that are glad no more episodes were made, but if, but wish, if some were, that only, that is, but wish if some were made to only have a, a better conclusion than just having Robotnik, or having some Robotnik's air supply ships crash into his tower and basically blow him up. I mean, as a friend of mine on my site uh, that, subscri that I've subscribed to says, in, in her review of Sonic Underground, she basically uses a song called, What the Fuck Was That? Which is kind of true. I mean, when you think about it, it, the series ends with them blowing him up, just sitting there like playing virtual reality games and using the virtual reality to pilot these ships into crashing into his tower. You think, what the hell was that? What the fuck was that? You know, you know, why in the series like that? Where, where's the mother and all that? So, but uh, but besides that, you know, it, to me, you know, I, I liked it. You know, I liked it to the point that I got up early every morning because believe it or not, where I was, it aired around six thirty in the morning. So I got up around 6 o'clock, 6.15 in the morning, got my tapes that I had, and this is before DVD recorders, and started taping each and every episode. So I have those out in Kansas. These, like I said, I got from a friend. So it, it showed, so basically, in a way, I, I do like the series. I mean, I admit, you know, the singing could have waited till the end, but then, but then again, you know, what are you going to do? And like I said... Maybe they felt as though the songs need to be in the certain spots they were in the episodes because they had to do. Sometimes the songs had something to do with the uh, with the plot of that of that episode for the day. But uh, that's all I could say about Sonic Underground. Um, like I said, you know, if you got any comments and you want to share your thoughts on it, just leave them on my page. I'll get to them and I'll try to get to them as much as I can and probably respond if I can to you guys, but um, that's all I could say about Sonic Underground, you know, it's not as good as Sat AM, it's not as good as Sonic X, but it's a, it's a decent series, so, you know, I'd say give it a chance, I'd give it a chance, and a little trivia for you guys, I didn't mention this on my Sat AM review, but it has been announced that sometime during this year, this series, along with Sat AM and Adventures, is coming on to Boomerang, as part of the Boomerang action uh, block. Don't know when that's going to happen, but it's supposed to be around sometime around this year. So look forward to that. And if Sonic Underground is a part of it, I say take the chance to watch it, and you'll probably enjoy it. So till next time, I'm Brian, and the next time I do a review, it'll be on Sonic X, and you're going to like that. Peace.